what fits in a one hour workout. In this video, I'm gonna show you a five block workout structure that helps you to maximize your performance in every session, decrease the risk of injuries and promote longevity, learn spectacular skills, build a shredded physique like gymnasts have, and be more flexible. You can work for all these benefits in a one hour session, and if you repeat this two, three times a week, you can achieve your dream physique, reach great performance and health. Of course, this can only be achieved if you're not like a potato who is scrolling on the phone after each set. You don't go to the park or gym just to live your social life, but you are determined and willing to work for your goals. If there is no phone and chat, you can fit everything you need in a one hour session. I can tell you from experience, I've personally gone through this process over a thousand times myself and I've coached this structure for my students for over five years, approximately 30 times per week. With that being said, let's see the five blocks, what fits in a one hour session, how much time each block takes, then I'll dive deeper in each. Five minute general warm up, 15 minute joint preparation, 10 minute skill block, 20 minute strength block, and 10 minute stretching. If you follow this structure, your training session will be 60 minutes long, allowing you enough time for everything. Of course, you can vary it by deciding how much time you want to spend on each part. Personally, I recommend that you always include warm-up, joint preparation or prehab routine, and stretching in your workouts. You can freely adjust how much time you spend on different skills and strengthening exercises. You can choose to do both in one session or focus on just one of them. This is also a common approach. In my experience, for the vast majority of people aiming for longevity and health, including strength, flexibility and coordination, achieving a physique that they are satisfied with, and possibly a few impressive gymnastic skills, this division works perfectly. If you don't believe it, just take a look at the success stories in the previous videos. Now that you know the structure, let's take a look what each block includes. The first block is the general warm-up. It's really simple. You need to transition your body from a resting state to be able to work out in order to get the most out of your session and minimize the risk of injuries. It's worth creating a regular routine to move your joints and get your muscles and tissues ready with dynamic stretches. As I mentioned, you don't necessarily need to spend more than five minutes on this. I previously made a video on the recommended five minute routine, which includes all you need for a thorough warm-up. The second block is for joint preparation. In this part, you can prepare your joints for the load with special mobilization and stabilization exercises. You can do a general routine for the upper body, which we mostly use in our workouts, or you can only target the joints and areas you need to pay more attention to. These exercises help to oil and prepare your joints for your training session. For example, if you will spend more time in supported positions, like practicing handstand, and doing push-ups in the strength block, you should do preparation exercises for your wrists, elbows, shoulders, scapula area and core. I talked about the importance of joint preparation exercises and the main areas in my previous videos you can find on the channel. Since in my experience, this is the area that most people lack in and truly changes their lives once they start using these exercises, I have developed a complete six-week program as well as a routine that takes only 15 minutes and can be done before every workout. If you're a complete beginner or have never done joint preparation exercises, I recommend starting with that and dedicating time to it. In this case, your entire workout will focus on this during the mentioned period, but it will best establish your physique. If you have some experience in training, these exercises will likely help you to overcome plateaus and progress further if you got stuck. You can find the full joint preparation program and routine in the primal programs on the link below in the Gymnastics Method app. The third block is about practicing spectacular skills such as handstands, combinations, planche, human flag, etc. After you've warmed up and finished with the joint preparation routine, your body and nervous system will be ready to practice techniques and skills. The different elements require more concentration and drain your nervous system more than the sets and reps exercises like push-ups or pull-ups, this is why it's recommended to start with practicing skills. If you do it the other way around, when your muscles and nervous system are fatigued, many people struggle to perform various progressions. 
So this time, after the warm-up and joint prep, you can practice with a fresh system, doing some effective sets, or you can even build your whole session on them, as I mentioned earlier. In that case, you can max out your skill training in 30 minutes and get into stretching. If you want to practice both skills and strength, you can do the skills for 10-15 minutes and get started with the strength block. In the Gymnastics Method app, you can find tutorials for beginner exercises such as the L-sit, elbow lever, shoulder stand or handstand, or advanced skills like the planche, front lever, human flag and much more. The fourth part of the workout is the strength block. Here, you can do a full body circuit style workout, a push, pull or leg workout, etc. depending on your schedule and plan. As I mentioned, you can also do this block alone and skip the skill block. This way, you can focus on strength and hypertrophy maximally. If you do both, you can do the strength block in 20 minutes and do an effective workout. The last block is for stretching. I definitely recommend doing a general stretching routine after every workout. This helps your nervous system return to its normal state, provides a bit of relaxation after the workout and initiates the recovery process. If you want to become more flexible, specifically aiming to increase flexibility, in this block you can perform techniques for this purpose, such as PNF or loaded progressive stretching. I already talked about these techniques in my previous videos, so check them out if you haven't already. If you allocate just 10 minutes to this at the end of each workout, you will feel the difference. This will be the five block structure that I use with my students to get the most out of a one hour training session. If you want to train according to this structure and build a shredded physique like gymnasts have starting from zero, click the link below, download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store, become a member and get full access to all programs, tutorials, daily workouts and much more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more and now check out my videos about joint preparation on the end screen now.